We're doing a basketball card review of some 2011-12 NBA hoops. Uh, we have a blaster box here. Ooh, back in the day, they were only $9.99 for these. Um, and I've had these for a while, so that's I'm sure that's what I paid at the most. Uh, it's 11 packs per box, 5 cards per pack, so 55 cards in a blaster. Um, you can find the rare Champions card featuring the 10, 11... Dallas Maverick Champions. Um, that's a nice card. It's a short print. Uh, I know it, like books for twenty dollars right now. There's also um, what else is there in here? Yes, there is uh, Blake Superior and Black Mama cards. Um, those book for over a hundred bucks each, but those are like hard to find. Uh, so we're gonna rip into this and see what kind of goodies we can get. Let me, let me back out here a little bit. This is kind of close. All right. So it's pretty decent, 55 cards, and only for 10 bucks. But like I said, this is from like 10 years ago, so it was a little more generous back then. Oh, this is, oh, this is nice. It's like suspended right in the middle, so you're not getting. If you get the corners dinged on the box, you're not wrecking up the cards inside. And these are like secure, securely here in the center of the box. That's really cool, actually. So here we have 11 packs, five cards per pack. So let's see what we let's see what we got. Uh, anything special odds wise? Let's see. You can read there. Uh, so you can get glossy parallels, artist proof parallels, autographs. Champions card, that's the Dallas Mavericks card. They got the Kobe Black Mamba, got the Blake Superior one. Um, then we have inserts, hoops action photos, hoop streams, uh, bigs, slam dunk winners, Hall of Fame heroes, hoops courtside, and a night to remember. And it doesn't really give you odds for each individual one or even for pulling inserts in general. So we'll see if what we get. In this first pack hopefully we get like something in each one i know these hoops aren't really worth a lot um it's hard to even find them listed in beckett anymore because they are really cheap this was like this was the year of the um lockout uh so they're at i don't think there's rookies in this one there was a double rookie class the following year in 12 13 hoops that's when like Kyrie and Anthony Davis so it's the double rookie class so let's see what we have here no rookies unfortunately uh, but James Harden Brandon Jennings Josh Smith ooh Steph Curry and Paul Millsap so no inserts in that first one so I guess they're not dropping one per pack um the LeBrons go for like six bucks, I believe. That's like the, the expensive card in the base set. Andre Godala, Jordan Farmer, Jordan Farmer, Carlos Boozer. Uh, it doesn't have his hair painted on it in this photo. TJ Ford. I don't even remember TJ Ford being on the Spurs. That must have been like a brief. Oh, LeBron. Cool. That's like a six dollar card. So. That's as good as it's going to get, base set-wise. So nice. Pulled the LeBron in the second pack. Pulled the Steph in the first one. So yeah, it's not bad. This was the first year that Hoops uh, came back. I think it was like 05 was the last year. And then it kind of went on hiatus, I believe. And then came back for uh, the 11-12 season. Uh, and it was under the Panini license, so Panini acquired hoops and brought them back. Uh, Derek Fisher. Ishmael Smith. Oh, Ish Smith. Uh, yeah. 
It's not a big deal, but like, it's kind of an older card for him. I'm surprised. Yeah, this is like, well, it's not a rookie card. It's a second year one. It's probably his oldest card, though, because I don't think he had a, a true rookie card. Uh, Roddy Bubois, uh, Ryan Gomes, and Carmelo Anthony. And this is an all star one. So there's like glossy ones are kind of like the parallel. And I'm trying to like trying to take note here to see if any of these are glossy. I don't know if this is or not. Not feeling anything special here. Sometimes it's hard to tell because like in the earlier years with these parallels, if they weren't obvious, like this this might be glossy, I think. It doesn't say, because back in the day they didn't say refractor necessarily, or prism, or glossy. I think this is glossy. Yeah, this feels kind of smooth. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see if anything else jumps out at me texture-wise. Cole Aldrich. Desagna Jop, Luis Scola, Kevin Garnett. Oh, this one, yeah, this one's glossy. You can tell because it, let's see, shine wise. I don't know if you can even tell. Yeah, they kind of look the same on camera. Yeah, they kind of look the same on camera, but this Garnett feels a little slicker than this Cole Ulrich one. So let me compare it to this. Mellow. Yeah, let me look here. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, this uh this Garnett's definitely glossy. It's kind of annoying, you can't really tell. Doesn't yeah, you just kinda of gotta feel it. Ed Davis. But yeah, KG, not a bad glossy one. Worth a little bit more than the base. I'm not 100% sure offhand what. I will find that out later. Ursan Ilyasova, Craig Brackens. Not familiar. Luke Herringati. I forget how to pronounce his name. I think he only probably played one year. Maybe two years. I don't know. Uh, Eric Gordon. And Jose Calderon. Luke Ridenauer. Hakeem Warwick. I forgot about some of these guys. Chris Anderson. Marvin. Marvin Williams. And then we have an all-star Rajon Rondo. Wayne Ellington. Yeah, it's an older Wayne Ellington. That's another guy that didn't... You can find some like older cards like in here from guys that it didn't probably didn't have a a, a trading card till later on but th this set kind of like see a lot of names that didn't think they had one around back then uh, maybe 10 was this 11 12 yeah i think he his rookie years the year before 10 11 9 10 okay never mind i don't know what i'm talking about uh michael red jason kidd andrew bynum and Sean Butler. All right. All right. I'll try not to go on too many more tangents and just open these up. Waxing philosophical about a bunch of freaking nobodies here. Joel Anthony. Kevin Durant. Mike Dunleavy. 
JJ Berea. And then All Star Chris Bosch. So, I mean, already, I mean, 10 bucks back in the day. I've had this for a while. Definitely worth it. Steven Jackson. Deron Williams. Another another member of the, the Painted on Hair Club. I swear to God, I was at a, a game years ago and was watching pregame warm-ups and he came out and was signing autographs and stuff. And I got a really good look at his head and his hair was definitely not uh grown naturally it was it looked like shoe polish i couldn't believe it uh tayshaun prince kwame brown and tim duncan that's cool these cards have a nice clean look to them i like it and not bad for like a return i mean it's real simple real simple design obviously not very fancy or expensive cards but nice nice clean look for the return to the hobby uh zach randolph jerome jordan uh daniel gibson patrick patterson and d rose oh, this is right after he wore the, won the mvp i think they're trying to be a little with the design i think they're trying to be a little reminiscent of the the very first hoops set from 8990. Kind of with that the design in the middle there. The cutaway. Uh Drew Gooden's last pack. Hey do Turkaloo. Randy Foy. Sean Stevenson. And Francisco Garcia. That's fun to say. Alright. Well I'm gonna dig through these and see if what kind of value I got on here and see if I can detect any other glossies or anything else special that stands out. All right. All right, so I kind of dug through these. Um, nothing very exciting. I'm glad I only paid $10 for these because uh, this you know, wasn't a whole lot to pull in here. Um, out of 55 cards, 54 were base, and then I had one parallel, that glossy parallel, Kevin Garnett. That was it. Um, the best card I pulled was the LeBron James base here, and that's worth six bucks. Um, nothing too exciting. The overall price for this whole blaster box of like eleven packs and five cards per pack, fifty-five cards. The whole thing was only worth like twenty seventy-five. So, yeah, that is a reason why it was only ten dollars for a blaster box. And if you're seeing these online, I would not be overpaying for stuff like this. This is like you're not going to get a lot in here. Um, you might you, uh, you might hit something big. You might hit one of those like Blake Superior or Black Mamba cards, but those are really rare. Um, so I wouldn't bank on that. And there's no inserts in these. Like out of the whole box, eleven packs, fifty five cards. Only one was a parallel. I think they didn't put inserts in this. So I guess you don't get inserts in this one. Um, and it was just one glossy parallel. And those are worth like four times the price of the base card. So I mean, it's it's. That's all you get. It's, it's nothing that special. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it is what it is. It's a very inexpensive set. Um, maybe you can... F I haven't looked online for these, but I mean, maybe you can find them cheap. If, if people are selling these for a lot, it is not worth it. I remember um, I do have a hobby box I'm going to open to. Not right now. Um, but I remember seeing it years ago. Uh, at a place I was going out of business, a hobby shop, and they were selling them for like hundred bucks. I'm like hundred bucks for a box of hoops, and it was like a really crappy set. And I'm like, that seemed like really inflated. Um, I know I did not pay that for this. I, I paid much less, and I'll, I'll I'll open a few of those packs another day. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a cheap hoop set. Um, I don't do do not overpay for this one. Uh, there's really not much to find. I, the best card you could get out of this uh, is probably the one I pulled here, this LeBron. Um, unless you get like some uh, a glossy version of this, which would be like $24. Um, but yeah. 
the the garnet one I pulled is like a dollar twenty five for the base, so it's like five bucks for the the glossy version, and that that's a a, a decent pull I think for this uh, blaster box. So yeah, temper your expectations if you're thinking about buying this. But anyway, that's what it is. That's what I got. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and check out some of my other videos. Bye.